with all clapping ovation welcome to the altar Frank Edward is that the way you are celebrating him is that the way you are celebrating holy hands I'm so honored to be here today to worship with you and I know that God has planned this meeting for your sake And I say thank you to the man of God for this privilege of being a blessing to you today. Put your hands together for him. And I love that you are people of worship. And as we worship God today, things will happen in your life that you never thought was possible. will happen in your life that you never imagined who is ready you will leave this place a walking fire who am I talking to you're going to leave this place a walking fire tell somebody say I'm a walking fire begin to wave those hands to the king of the speak in other tongues Can, do you speak in tongues in this church do you speak in tongues in this church begin to speak in other tongues tongues of the spirit worship is not singing it's a lifestyle worship is not singing it's a lifestyle can I live? Begin to speak in other tongues. Uh -huh, hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. There is a fire that comes from the inside. There is a fire that comes from within. There's an anointing that flows from the inside. It's by the Spirit, let it overflow. I feel the fire, yeah. 
I feel the fire. I feel the fire. Yeah. I feel the fire. I feel the fire. Lift your voice. I feel the fire. Yeah. I feel the fire. I feel the fire. I feel the fire. ready to dive into the deep the deep before we go there I want to tell you what worship is listen once worship starts you lose your will once worship starts you lose your personality once worship starts your doctorate degree becomes inexistent I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Once worship starts, your personality disappears. So you no longer have the choice to say, I like Efe Tobore song, or I don't like his song, or I like what the choir is singing, or I don't like it. Once worship starts, you don't have a choice than to join the worship. This is the only reason why you became a human being in the first place. It's not so that you buy many houses. Or so that you just be alive and live on earth. You are created to worship him. Do you understand what I'm saying? So as a matter of fact, with all that God has done for you, that's the only thing he requires from you. You cannot advise God. Can you? You cannot pray for God. Can you pray for God? Can you heal God? What can you do for him? Worship, that's all. So every time you have an opportunity to worship God, do it like your life depends on it. Do you know why? When you worship God, he goes into your future and begin to fix things so that those things will not distract you from worshiping him. So some challenges that you have today, if you are a deep worshiper, you will not have those challenges. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. So who is ready? See, who is ready? Oh, God. 
Give him worship. Yes. 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 Yeah. Give him worship. Give him worship. He deserves it lavishly. to the Lord. Impossibilities, 
Worship is not about singing, but it's an atmosphere, it's a lifestyle. So when you get in, stay there. Keep going, keep going, you're getting there.
Lord for bringing in yet another soldier of worship into the kingdom. I have seen it and you will see it. We thank the Lord From today, the Lord will give you songs. The Lord will give you songs. Not ordinary songs, songs of the Spirit. And the whole world will hear your voice. The whole world will hear your voice. Just begin to thank God on his behalf. I have seen it. You see it. And to what God is already doing for you, you will see by this time next year. The only thing I'll ask you is when it happens, don't forget where you're coming from. Did you hear me? Don't forget where you're coming from. Because the God, God will announce you so big. God will announce you so big. And to whatever it is God wants to do for you, I'm going to sow into it today. I will give you a small seed of 500,000. Yeah? Listen, come on. And that money will not finish in your hand. It's spiritual money, it's God's money. It will not finish in your hand. It will not finish in your hand. It will not finish in your hand. God is going to use you as an example to a lot of young people, a lot of youth. A lot of youth will turn to Christ as they hear your voice. That's the purpose, that's the reason. That's the reason for the lifting. Jesus, so that you bring you into the kingdom. That's the reason. Five hundred thousand to it. Yes, yes. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, man of God. Ah. dream no matter what and I want to celebrate my daddy and always talk to me and love me <laughs> when I was young I see myself always being with Frank Edward now one day I will take a picture with him all the great ministers I see myself among them. 
I just put hope on God. I tell God, no matter what, even if I don't have anything to eat, I will still love you. You see, it pays to have a pastor who believes in you. I'm, I saw him today for the first time because he called him out. I heard from him today for the first time. And immediately he called him out. The Spirit of God says to me, that's the guy. Thank you, man of God, for believing. Thank you. Thank you. Many more will rise Amen. from this place. Many more will rise. Amen. From the choir, many more will rise. Amen. Amen. Get up. Do you want to sing something for us? money here so that the testimony will be complete before he goes down so
Congratulations. Woo! Congratulations. Woo! Make a joke for nice. Listen, wherever you see a miracle, it means that the angel in charge of such miracles are around you. Who believes? Do like this, do like this, somebody. Listen, rain of miracle will fall on you all the months of this year. No month of this year will leave you empty. Every month you will have a miracle. Every month. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. You will have a miracle. Who is ready? Who is ready? Make a joyful noise. He joined
I love the way I love the way you respond to a miracle. Most people don't know how to respond to miracles. You respond with giving. You respond with thanksgiving. You respond with happiness because your own is coming. Do you understand? Because your own is coming. I don't know what you're expecting from God. Did you hear the man of God's testimony? You know the testimony? Do you know what the testimony is? The things that God has used him to do, even some 70 years old have not done quarter of it. I was born in a very, very poor family. In fact, if there was something below poverty, you know, we were five of us in one small room, one small room, one small room, one window, one door, just small room, five of us. And at that time, if somebody told me that one day, God will use you to do what he's using you to do now. I will not even believe because the environment at that time did not look like it. Sir. There's no... At that time, nobody in my family, both extended uncles, had a bicycle. I'm telling you, not even extended family had anything. So... I don't know the situation where you are now. What your surrounding is telling you is a lie. Yo. What your environment is telling you now is a lie. Don't believe it. It's a lie. Somebody shout, it's a lie. Your environment is telling you, no, nobody gets married in this family. There's no billionaire in this family. It has never happened. Nobody owns a company. It never happened. It's a lie. You don't believe it. Tell your neighbor, say, it's a lie. You say, ah, in this family, people die early. People die is a lie. You have to, you have to steal. You have to do Yahoo Yahoo before you become a billionaire. Is a, it's a lie. Every young person that is a billionaire is a thief. Is a, is a lie. Hallelujah. Why am I telling you this thing? God is about to raise billionaires in this place. I'm telling some of you, you wake up to a billionaire, you just sleep and wake up to a billionaire. You're saying, How will it happen? You're saying, how will it happen? Which God do you serve? Which God do you really serve? I'll just, I'll tell you a story for two minutes, then we'll praise God, then we'll close. I didn't just come from a poor family. I was hawking, sir. I was a hawker. In Enugu, yes, I was selling for my mom. My mom was selling bonds, opa, moi moi. So, myself and my mom will be hawking on the streets of Enugu, you know. He will go one side, I'll go one side, we'll meet at home when I finish selling. And in those days, when I used to hawk, I would see on the roadside where, you know, people who are selling video CDs, they will be selling Don Moen's uh, video CD. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. He walks in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my God. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day. He will make a way. He will make a way. So I'll see them. Once I see it, I'll carry what I'm selling. I will stand there. I'll be watching him. 
and I don't move until the video CD stops playing. So I always pass that street every time just to have an opportunity to watch him. Now, if someone told me that day, at that point, that one day, this man you're watching here will be sitting in your living room, I'll say it's a lie. Because where is the connection? I'm a hawker. This is, an, uh, this is a top American musician. I don't have a passport. I've not been to Ghana. None of my family members has been to Ghana. So how, how can you be telling me that one day, this man I'm watching, that I don't even know where America is, will be sitting in my living room? Does it make sense? It doesn't make sense. If you give me my phone now, if I call the man once, he will answer. We have done songs together. He has visited me. I have visited him. We are now fam But in just how many years? Now, the question is, what changed between the hawker and this Frank Edwards? What changed? What did I do? What did I do that nobody has done before? What was special? We see, waiting I sing where people never sing before. You see, it's just grace. So, when you walk into a place like this and you look around, all you're seeing here is not the works of man, it's grace. It's not by power. It's not by might, but by my spirit. So some of you, where you are now, is lying to you about your tomorrow. You're looking at the people you know now. You're looking at the situation. You're looking at your bank account. As you're sitting here, maybe you're even owing house rent. You never pay. You're thinking of school fees. Buster, if God shows you your life by December, you will not believe. You don't understand what I'm saying. If God shows you where you will be, what he has prepared for you as, as we are this place, you will not believe it. So when you praise God and rejoice and, thanks, and thank God, that is what you're thanking God for. For the unseen miracles. Tell your neighbor, say, I'm celebrating my tomorrow. Because I know it will be greater than today. How many of you believe? Rise up. Let's dance and celebrate for victory. Let's dance and celebrate for victory before we could Make a joyful noise! Wait, 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 wait. Begin to give us some dance. All right, all right. Who can dance? Who can dance? Come, come. Who can dance for the Lord here? Show, show, show. Leave them alone. As you're dancing, dance with your offering. <laughs> Make a joyful noise! Hey! 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 Everybody put your hands up. Everybody put your hands up. Everybody put your hands up. Hey! As I they go, as I they come, in the name of Jesus, they go.